A blissful day, Sir Rogan, and to our dear panelists. In this presentation, we will be discussing our research for this subject, Practical Research 2. We, the researchers of this study, are from Grade 12 STEM Knowledge Group 2. Our research, which is entitled the Comparative Study on the Efficiency of Coconut Shell, Cocos Nocifera, Bamboo, Bamboo Sidea, and Areca Nut Shell, Areca Cathetu, as Strengthening Aggregate Materials of Bricks Made Up of Oyster Shell, focuses on knowing and comparing the effectiveness of the said variables as strengthening aggregates of bricks made up of oyster shell. This research also focuses on um, assessing the relationship between the amount of added variables and the water absorption capacity of the bricks. We conducted this research to give solution on the problem regarding the uncontrollable agricultural waste and the increasing population of homeless people at the same time. It's like hitting two birds with one stone because if the bricks which we are also using in building houses are way cheaper than the ones in local or commercial construction but has a good quality and eco-friendly, more people will afford to house themselves. Moreover, we the researchers of this study who are Hopefully, future engineers and architects believe that building an aesthetically beautiful and good quality houses or infrastructures as well as conserving and or conservation and protection of environment are um, possible to work hand in hand and side by side to further innovate and uphold eco-friendly engineering and architecture for a safer, safer planet, and of course, for a safer home. So before we continue, let me introduce to you the researchers of this study. First, Ms. Jean Kilabajo, Ms. Eder Olau, Mr. Jassel Kenneth Kines, Mr. Riley Gayondato, and yours truly, Ms. Sachi Natasha Misa. So, to start, the results and discussion will going to be started by Ms. Eder Olau. Ms. Eder Olau, please discuss the research question one. Thank you. Research question number one. How does the coconut shell of coconut Nucifera perform as strengthening aggregates on bricks made up of oyster shell as a shell de, in terms of amount of coconut shell, coco, cocos, nucifera, fever, and water absorption. In trial one, the added one half cup of coconut shell as strengthening aggregates resulted to seven. 0.69% water absorption capacity. In trial two, the added one cup of coconut shell as strengthening aggregates resulted to the water absorption capacity of 3.85%. In trial three, the added one and a half cup of cup coconut shell as strengthening aggregates resulted to 4% water absorption capacity. As illustrated on the table one, the results of the coconut shell as strengthening aggregates shows that the strengthening amount of coconut shell from trial one to three resulted to varied water absorption rate of the bricks. So the water absorption ranges from 3% to 7.7%. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Eder Olau. So now, the research question two will going to be discussed by Ms. Jinkilabao. Ms. Jinkilabao, please speak.
Research question number two. How does the bamboo, bamboo, bamboo sudaya, perform as it can retaining all the great on bricks made up of oyster shell, oyster sudaya, in terms of amount of bamboo, bamboo sudaya, fiber, and water absorption? So, in trial one, they added one half cup of bamboo as a strengthening aggregates result to 7.4% water absorption capacity. In trial two, they added one cup of bamboo as a strengthening aggregates result to the water absorption capacity of 4.17%. In trial three, they added one and one half cup of bamboo as a strengthening aggregates result to 8% rate of water absorption capacity. As we can see from the table two, the results of the bamboo as strengthening aggregates indicates that the, it's increasing amount per trial from trial one to three. Results of varied water absorption rate of the bricks tested. The water absorption rate of bricks with this aggregate range from 4% to 8%. That's all, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Jinkilabao. So now, the research question three will going to be discussed by Mr. Jasal Kines. Mr. Jasal Kines, please take over. Thank you. For research question, question number three, how does the reconnaught shell Areca Katichu perform a strengthening aggregate on bricks made up of oyster shell, oyster dea, in terms of amount of bamboo areca nut shell or areca Katichu fiber or, and water absorption? <clears throat> so, for re research question number three, we assess areca nut shell as strengthening aggregate materials through its water absorption rate and amount we use. We can see in trial one with one half of a reconnut shell, the rate water absorbs rate is 3.85% or 0 0.0385. In trial two, containing one cup of these variables results to 4% or 0 0.04. While in trial three, with one and one half cup result to 4.17% or 0 0.0417. Based from these results from question number three, the absorption rate Absorption rate of water from the reconnaught shell in trial 1 to 3 has a little different amount of water absorption rate. So we conclude that the increasing amount of this variable that being input from trial 1 to 3 resulted to varied water absorption rate. The, the water absorption rate of bricks with the strengthening aggregate of a reconnaught shell ranges, ranges from 3% to 4.2%. The result of the research for question one to three indicate that the materials used as, used as strengthening aggregates can affect the water the rate the rate of water absorption. However, the amount of the said materials input in the sample bricks doesn't show effect on the resulting water absorption rate. That's all. But thank you. Thank you, Mr. Jassal Kenneth Guinness. So now I'm going to discuss the research question four of our study. So in, in research question four, we assess how significant is the relationship of the amount between the amount of coconut shell, bamboo, and areca nut shell materials to so the water absorption rate of the bricks. In relation to this is the hypothesis of our study. The null hypothesis of our study is there is no relationship between the amount of coconut shell, bamboo, and areca nut shell and the computed water absorption rate of the bricks. Meanwhile, the alternative hypothesis of our research is there is a relationship between the amount of coconut shell, bamboo, and areca nut shell and the computed water absorption rate of the bricks. So first is the coconut shell or cocos nucifera. So as we can see in table 4.1, the summation of the amount of coconut shell used 
as uh, aggreg as and strengthening aggregates in the BRICS C1 to C3 is 3 while the summation of the water absorption rate of the BRICS with an uh, with the aggregate of coconut shell is equal to 0 0.1554 so to know their uh, to assess their relationship we use the Pearson R formula so the computed value we obtained is negative 0 0.19 so the degree of freedom which is n minus 1 is equal to 2 so the critical value is 0 0.950 so as we can see from this result um, the computed value is less than the critical value so the null hypothesis is rejected. Therefore, there is no relationship between the amount of coconut shell, Cocos nucifera, and the computed water absorption rate of the bricks. So uh, the researchers conclude for this, or the research, researchers' conclusions, conclusion for this, that this was caused by the coconut shell fibers characteristic of being water resistant according to the research conducted by iz bujang et al 2007 coconut fiber is um, relatively impenetrable by water and which also has the capacity to resist <clears throat> excuse me the damage of salt water and microbial degradation ray 2005 So now for the bamboo sedea. So table 4.2, as we can see in this table, the amount of the bamboo or the summation of the amount bamboo, used bamboo is 3, while the water absorption rate of the bricks, which, has, which have the aggregate of bamboo, is equal to 0 0.1957. So we use the, the Pearson R formula again. As we can see, the computed value is equal to negative 4.6. So from this, from this um, we can see that the computed value is less than, again, the critical value, which is 0 0.950. So the null hypothesis is rejected therefore there is no relationship between the amount of bamboo bamboo sedea and the computed water absorption rate of the bricks so for this result it is concluded that the other aggregates such as the cement and the powdered oyster shell are factors which cause the bricks to have unrelated varied water absorption rates not the bamboo's characteristic unlike the coconut shell fiber because the bamboo fiber has the characteristic of being high moisture absorber which is due to its micrographs and micro holes which is according to subatra das 2010 which means it is also a good um, water absorption it has also a good water absorption properties its mo moisture absorption properties supports and explains the result obtained in research question 5 which will going to be discussed later by mr riley gayondato so now let's proceed to the areca nutshell or areca kathetsu for the table 4.3 the summation of the areca summation of the amount of areca nutshell used is 3 while the summation of the water absorption rate of the bricks which have the aggregate of areca nutshell fiber is equal to 0 0.1202 so we use again we use the pearson r formula so the computed value is neg um 1.0 one three so as we can see from this obtained result the um, the computed value is greater than the critical value 
So, the null hypothesis is not rejected. Therefore, there is a relationship between the amount of areca nutshell, areca catheter, and the computed water absorption rate of the bricks. So, for this, it is concluded that this was due to the hydrophilic nature of areca nutshell due to its major composition, which are cellulose, hemicellulose, and lignin, like any other natural fiber. And that is according to Desai, RH et al. 2016. Thank you. So, now, the research question 5 will going to be discussed by Mr. Riley Gayondato. Mr. Riley Gayondato, please proceed. Research question number 5. Which among coconut shell, cocos tocifera, bamboo, bamboo sedea, and areca nutshell, areca catechu, are more efficient in terms of water absorption capacity? The table shows that, not, that the coconut shell has an average water absorption rate of 5%. The bamboo with an average water absorption rate of 6.5%. And the areca nutshell that has an average of 4.1%. The result shows that none of these aggregate materials reach the accept, accepted standard water absorption rate that is 12% to 20%. As concluded, this is due to the size of the created bricks and the variables used are not, are not the usual aggregate of bricks. The researchers also obtained a limited amount of materials due to COVID-19 pandemic happening along the creation of this research which, which made the sample bricks not in the standard size. On the other hand, among these results, bamboo is the most efficient strengthening aggregate in making brick made up of oyster shell because it has the closest average water absorption rate, which is 12%. That's all. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Riley. So, as a conclusion, all in all, this research is a good alternative way of recycling agricultural waste towards ecological conservation and protection of nature, as well as a small step for further innovation and environmental-friendly engineering and architecture. So, this picture, so in this picture, you can, um, you can see the process of this research. So in this picture, these are the bricks, um, which has an, which have the aggregate of bamboo. So these bricks have the aggregate of coconut shell, while these bricks have the aggregate of areca nut shell. So this and these are the fibers we use in conducting this or in creating these bricks. So that's all. That's our presentation. Thank you.